City staff have flagged 40 properties that could support more than 1,000 new housing units. The list was brought forward by administration. It includes city-owned land that could be sold for housing development. Just Clement reports. It's another city effort to support new housing builds. A motion to sell municipally owned parcels of land was originally brought forward by at-large councillor Casey Atraney back in March. It tasked administration with creating a list of surplus lands, such as vacant lots, parks, and parking lots. Atraney says this move could grow the city's tax base, decrease the need for new suburban developments, and address a wide range of housing needs. We need housing for every possibility of people in our community that require housing. We have professionals right now living at home with their parents because they can't get they can't purchase a home. We have of course we have the low income housing we see encampments and those pieces and um, and then we have mining industry coming and so we're going to have executive professionals coming here also looking for homes. During a closed session back in September, city administration provided council with a list of nearly 40 city-owned properties that could potentially support up to a thousand or more housing units. These parcels of land would apply to anyone in our community whether it's an individual who would want to build their own home or whether it's a small developer that's you know um, doesn't have the resources to build something on a big scale of, you know, 300 units or 100 units. And then upwards of those bigger developers who can actually do bigger areas. Some council members have raised concerns about selling the properties, including having no control over what happens with the lots once they're actually sold. Councillor Andrew Fold says he thinks the motion can provide some opportunity for more affordable housing in the city, but says there are still things he thinks are non-negotiable including the development of green space and parkettes. This is not a silver bullet, but I think that this, this may be, you know, a piece of the puzzle, uh, including a decision that we made uh, this week uh, to increase staff for the accelerator fund, um, including what a previous council did in terms of the zoning and official plan, um, and including a lot of the work that we're doing through IGA and advocating. The next steps will include public notice and the opportunity for the public to comment on the various properties selected. The comments will then go back to Council for final approval in the new year. Jessica Clement, TBT News.